Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the Beaver Builder settings and some of the options that are available to you. To get there, you're going to go to your WordPress dashboard, hover over to settings, and go down to the submenu Beaver Builder. Click on that link. From here, you'll see our welcome message. You'll have access to our private Facebook group, our community Slack channel, and also some additional resources and links for you. Next, we'll talk about license. If you haven't done so already, you can go ahead and use this tab to enter your license key. And then you also have access to modules. In this area, you have the ability to turn on or off certain modules. If there are any modules that you don't use frequently, you can simply uncheck these boxes and click Save. Moving right along, let's check out post types. From here, you have the ability to turn on or off Beaver Builder, whether you're using it to build pages or posts. If you're a brand new user, I recommend you use Beaver Builder with pages only. On the Templates tab, you also have the ability to turn on or off certain templates. So if you wanted to turn off any templates that are saved, you can do so here. I like to keep all my templates enabled, so I'm just going to leave it enabled and click Save. Next, let's talk about user access controls. From here, you have the ability to restrict Beaver Builder access from certain users that you have created. If you have an author, an editor, or contributor, you can restrict their ability to edit certain modules or settings within Beaver Builder. If you are a single base user, I wouldn't worry about this area. The Icons tab allows you to enable or disable certain icon sets. So if you're used to using certain icons within, a, say, for example, Font Awesome 5, you can go ahead and turn them on here so that it'll be available for you to use. Once you've selected the right icons that you want to use, go ahead and click Save. The last menu item available to you is Tools. From here, you have some advanced features like the ability to clear your cache, or you can get access to debug mode, or also uninstall certain features. If you're a brand new user, I wouldn't worry about these settings at this time. Okay, that's a quick overview of our Beaver Builder settings. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team.